Hello, this is Dr. Heidi Horsley, the ex Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here today with a friend of mine, Todd Hochberg. And Todd has done a video called Other Rituals, Parents' Stories of Meaning Making. It's a film, right Todd? It is. Uh, it's basically interviews with families that I'd worked with at the time of their loss, photographing with them to help them uh, with photographs through their grief. Uh, and the video is interviews with these parents, uh, sometimes five months, six months, or a year after their loss, talking about uh, their loss and also the rituals they might have innovated for their uh, children that have died. I love this, Todd. So what you do is when people have had a baby die, you go in and you photograph the baby. Is that what you do? Uh, babies and children, okay. older children as well, in, in, in hospitals and hospice and palliative care programs. When families are open to it, not every family is, but uh, those that know and embrace other aspects of bereavement programs often are. I love the service that you provide and you do beautiful work because I've seen your work. Um, tell me a little bit about the rituals that families implement after a loss. Well, there are prescribed rituals based on culture and religion and um, family history, but then there are families that innovate their own. Um, some that are in the video itself are, uh, and tattoos are very popular now with, with young adults. Women, mothers, women and, and uh, uh, mothers in particular, in my case, uh, are very able to express their grief in, in, in a variety of ways, but most, you know, verbally, where men sometimes hold back and, and, and yet they have this, uh, what is it called, intuitive versus... Instrumental. There you go. The intuitive versus the instrumental grieving, yeah. And, and uh, so in this case, this dad, a very soft-spoken guy, um, decided he was, he, his daughter died with this little monkey doll, and, mm -hmm. and, and he decided he wanted to carry that with him as a reminder of, of her love and, and his love for her. Uh, another another uh, instance is uh, a mom made a quilt, a memorial quilt, uh, with her surviving children, they made a square, each made like three or four squares, and she quilted it together, and it uh, was used as a pall on the uh, casket at her funeral, at her little girl's funeral. I love these, Todd. So I, I think that what you're doing is such a wonderful way to help people heal. And I'm wondering, how can people get your film, and how can they find you if they want to use your services? Okay. My work is documentary in nature, so I, I'm not posing or staging photographs. They're very much uh, uh, about telling their story as it unfolds. That helps them then grieve and also to share their story with other uh, family members and, and community members. So uh, my website, uh, www.toddhockberg.com or touchingsouls.org, um, may be easier to find. Um, we'll direct you to the video, uh, the DVD sales, and also other information on my work. Very good, Todd. Thank you so much for the work that you're doing. And this is Dr. Heidi Horsley from the Open to Hope Foundation.